Can you believe it, Liz? We're already starting to talk college football, and the Oregon Ducks have their spring game tomorrow. And Brenna joins us, and we've been looking forward to this. You got to sit down with Coach Dan Lanning one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it was um, it was great to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Those conversations don't happen that often. There is a lot of hype around this Oregon football team for when they take the field for their first game, August 31st. First, though, they have to take the field tomorrow for their spring game. We were the only Portland station to sit down with Dan Lanning as he prepares to debut the next era of Oregon football. I mean, I just enjoy the work. I love being on the grass. Dan Lanning's enthusiasm for his job is apparent. So too is his enthusiasm for his next team to take the field. I think we have a, a group uh, that's really talented, um, that's hungry to be great. You know, we want our practices to look different than everybody else uh, in the nation. I think we have a group that really embraces that. I want you to be able to go to our practice, close your eyes and hear our practice, right? I think that tells you that we have a physicality at practice that's, uh, that I think is required in football to be successful, right? The toughest team's gonna win. You know, that's gonna be something that's gonna be a characteristic for us next season. Another characteristic this team must possess, don't buy in to your own hype. Lanning told me he's been around teams that underachieved and teams that overachieved. So the question begs, how does this team avoid being the latter? Being a team that's accountable to each other, right? I think it starts with that. Being a team that's about growth, right? And not ego. Um, being a team that's proactive and not reactive, right? So those are, there's a lot of characteristics that we look for, but our DNA traits have to show through, right? We have to be a connected team. We have to be a team that's growth oriented, like how can we get better? We have to be a tough team. And then we have to be a, a team that's willing to sacrifice. We have to do more than somebody else to get what we want to get. Fans get their first chance to see if those traits exist on Saturday during the spring game. It's easy for a fan to, to follow the ball and where the ball goes, but pay attention to the line of scrimmage, right? Uh, see how the guys operate on the sideline, right? Look at the way they warm up. I think that speaks the way you do anything is the way you do everything. So hopefully all the little details stick out for us. Speaking of details, in some places around the country, programs spring games feel like a footnote. I asked Dan Lanning if it's been an emphasis for him to make Oregon's spring game an event. He credits the people watching in the stands. I think that's something our fans have emphasized. One, they realize the impact uh, that this spring game creates, you know, for us in recruiting, for us as our players, you know, trying to create that game day environment. And you watch a, a lot of spring uh, games across the nation, they don't mean as much as they mean here in Oregon. And that means the world to Dan. I mean, that, this place is special because of that fan support, uh, how much they care. Um, and, you know, we really enjoy having them there in the stands and making part of this experience for them. The annual spring game gets underway tomorrow at 1. Admission is free, but you are asked to donate non-perishable food. If you can't make it, you can watch the game on Pac-12 Network. And I'll be down there with post-game coverage in Coin6 Sports.